Hello everyone, here is a quick guide on how to use Fax's Charm and Item Editor. First step is to download it manually. You can do that by simply going to the file sub and clicking on manual download. The zip will contain an exe file and a csv file. Extract them anywhere on your PC but they both have to be on the same folder. The exe will require the game to be open to work. Before you start editing your save file, you should always make a backup in case something goes wrong, which is usually never the case though. The tool has a charm editor, an item box editor, a Zenian points editor, and a script that will quickly add every single item in the game with a desired amount to your item box. On the top left corner there is a setting that will automatically add all items for you in the item box with two simple clicks. You can also choose the amount of items. Legal items are basically all the items in the game that have a use and normally obtainable. Illegal items are mostly account items, for example rampage bombs or ballistas. They basically can't be used anyway. Now if you hit run script it will add all items in your item box. You can then also tick the illegal item box and run script so they will be added in addition. Be careful though, because you can't sell most of the normally unobtainable items. Therefore, there is a clear all button just in case you want to get rid of all your items and add only specific items in your item box. For adding specific items, we will be looking on the right side of the screen. If you hit read item box, it will show you a list of all items that are placed in your box. This tool is more handy if you want to add single items and not everything that exists or edit a specific item that is already placed in your item box. So if you want to add an item that you don't have, just go to the i underscore unclassified underscore known field and select the item you want. You can treat it as a search bar. Just type in the item you need and it will automatically search it for you. Then select the amount and hit save item box. If you want to edit the amount of an existing item, find it on the list and then type the desired quantity on the amount tab. That was pretty much everything about editing items. Moving on to tool number two, which is the charm editor. For that, you have to just hit read equipment and it should display all the charms that you own. Now, you can select a charm that you want to edit. So, a super rare charm will be always rarity 7 and this is what you always should aim for. You can select the first and second skill, but as well the levels of that. Also the amount and levels of slots. Once you hit save, go check your item box and you will see the charm was successfully edited. If you don't want to edit an existing charm, you can hit the add new button and it will place an empty charm in your inventory. Now you can again edit this to whatever you want within the possible charm table in the game. For example, if you set attack with 7 and crit 7 on a charm, it won't be a legitimately charm from the game's tables. Once you try equipping an illegal charm, the game will automatically reset this charm to zero skills. If you want to know what charms are possible and what not, you can check the table at this website which will be linked in the description. It is really simple to read. For example, it says first skill max level of attack boost is 3. If it is a second skill on a charm, the max level will be 2. Now for crit try, again, it's 3 on the first slot and 2 on the second. So. Attack boost level 3 plus crit eye level 2 charm is a possible in-game combination. Next you want to look at the grade. Both are grade A. Switch to the second tab, max slot, you can see that A, A combination allows you up to 3, 1, 1 slots. This can be also 3, 0, 0 or 2, 0, 0 or 1, 1, 1. So you can always downgrade slots. Which means your charm can be attack boost 3, crit eye 2, with a level 3 slot and 2 level 1 slots. For speedrunning, this can be a really handy option, so all runners can be speedrunning on even ground and get their desired max out charms. Not everyone has the time to grind infinitely for charms, which leads to non-fair ground. At the end, you can also find a point in Zenny Editor, which is pretty much straightforward. You just select the desired amount and hit set. And as you can see, your new amount of points in Zenny are immediately displayed. I hope this quick tutorial helped everyone have a better understanding of the tool. With that said, I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting guys.